According to the music videography social media discourse, shooting your concert videos vertically with your camera or even your iPhone might become a thing. But if you're one of the many that doesn't want to shoot professionally with an iPhone or turn your camera over to shoot vertically, this tutorial is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods on how to convert your horizontal 16x9 concert videos into vertical 9x16 videos that you can deliver to your clients. This is also useful if you want to convert your own horizontal concert videos into short form vertical content for your TikTok Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. I'll be using Premiere Pro to demonstrate this, but you can accomplish what I'm about to teach you in any video editing software. To get started, I have an example raw concert clip on the timeline. The first thing we need to do in order to convert a horizontal video into vertical is by going to Sequence, Sequence Settings, and changing the frame size to 1080 horizontal and 1920 vertical. 2160 horizontal by 3840 vertical if the footage is in 4K. The rest of the default settings don't need to be changed in this case, and we can click OK. And if this message pops up, you can click OK again. Now that we have the correct aspect ratio for mobile, we can move over to effect controls and adjust the scale and positioning accordingly. If there's a lot of horizontal movement and the vertical real estate isn't showing everything important that's happening, you can utilize keyframes to help with that. For example, in this video of Afrojack and Rehab, they both look back at me at different times but the vertical real estate only has enough room to show one of them. So what I would do in this case is position the video to show Afrojack since he turns around first. And as he turns back towards the crowd, add keyframes to move the footage horizontally until rehab is on screen. Once the keyframes have been added, it will look like the camera was being moved by you, the videographer, instead. The second method, which I can demonstrate in this new sequence that I have ready, begins with right or double clicking the clip and clicking scale to frame size. Now the full horizontal video is in the frame. It may appear small, but remember, this will be viewed on mobile phones. To get rid of all the empty black space, First, duplicate the video by holding down the option key and dragging upwards. Now make sure the video that's on the bottom is highlighted by clicking it, and then increase its scale value until it fills up all the empty space. Next, go over to the effects panel and search for the word blur, and drag the Gaussian blur effect onto the clip on the bottom. Now that the effect has been added, jump back to effect controls and increase the blurriness of the bottom clip to your liking. I usually go with something in between 50 to 100. You can also click repeat edge pixels to remove any black edges that might appear. So you can choose between cropping the video to fill up the entire vertical screen or displaying the full horizontal video and filling out the blank space. It's all situational and there's really no right answer. I use both methods all the time. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing guys. From here, I suggest continuing on to this video for keyframe basics if you're not familiar with how they work or this video for some more concert video editing tips and tricks. I'll see you there.